Hey, welcome back to Right on the Money, your go-to resource for your financial decisions. Again, our guest today, Larry Lerner, owner and operator of Artist Business Management Group. And we've been talking about retirement. And in particular, we've gone into a discussion that I find fascinating. We've touched on student loan debt and what millennials can do. And you know what, this one actually uh, is close to home because I've got a, uh, a 21 year old that's got another year, God willing, year, maybe a year and a half left of school. And uh, so these are topics that are right on my mind as uh, she goes out into this brave new world. But so we left our last segment, we were talking about those millennials that are out, they've got their first job, they've got student loans and their dads have been telling them what to do with them. Well, it's a hot topic. Yeah. And I, the dads actually are probably giving, I don't want to knock everybody, but probably some bad advice. I think in fairness, we should throw the moms in there too. Yeah, let's do it. You know, I, what they've been doing, first of all, I think everybody's listening to the radio. There's lots of radio personalities out there that are giving advice. It's hard for guys like us to contradict them, but we don't always agree with them. There's some guys on the radio that are pounding no debt, no debt, no debt. Okay. And if, and if you have no debt, if you have all the debt paid off, what do you have? No debt. You have no assets. Yep. You have nothing. All you've done is you've spent your life paying off debt and you have nothing. And you're living in a tiny little house <laughs> that you own free and clear. You're driving old cars that you own free and clear and you're really not living life. So I actually will say a bold statement. I'm not afraid of debt. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that the kids should be afraid of debt. Now, their parents have been telling them, pay off your student loans. The most important thing you'll ever do is pay off your student loans. Actually, I don't really agree with that. Really? Never pay them late, never damage your credit, but pay them as agreed, and the debt will eventually go away. But you have to go on with your life and live life while you're paying off your student debt. Very true. And it would be a very big mistake to do nothing except write checks. Now, is that what you see when you have the, when you work with, I know you do a lot of work with millennials, which is great because they're not hearing much from a professional standpoint. Well, all right, you go to the accountant's office. Here's my job, to try to undo what they've been taught mm -hmm. by people that they trust and to try to give a different point of view. And here I am arguing with pretty high profile radio personalities that I don't agree with, I'm sorry, I just do not agree with them. And time and time again, I can sit here and do the math with you and show you how wrong they are. And when I sit with the young people, with the millennials, I do the math for them and I show them that what's the most important thing they could do? Start young, Start don't young. wait till it's too late. Imagine being 50 years old and saying, you know, I think I'll start a retirement plan. That would be scary. Okay, retirement is actually the three-legged stool. You've got an interest rate, you've got time, and you've got money. Well, the 25-year-olds have time on their hands. And imagine from 25 until 65, you've got 40 years of something called compound interest. Mm -hmm. Tell well, us more. Okay, if I'm 50 years old and I start, how much could I possibly compound? Not much. So the people that start young, that if I can get a hold of them and beg them and plead with them to do something instead of nothing, I think they're gonna have a nice retirement. Now, you know, I being, well, I'm turning 60 this year, I have been very much like many, many of my friends who ended up writing checks every month to support their parents or their in-laws. Why? Because the good news is we're living longer. The bad news is we're living longer. So now, you know, grandma and grandpa are moving into a home and it's costing five grand a month to keep them in this place where they get all the care that they could possibly need. Social Security, is that gonna cover it? No. I don't think so. Did they buy long-term care coverage? No, nope, they missed the boat on that one. Or they thought about it when they were 60, but it was kind of too late to buy it at that point. So it's really important. You're, you, know, you have a 21-year-old kid. It's time to start. I'm gonna tell you the uh, biggest kept secret in my family. 
Uh, I'm sure that my daughter, Marissa, will see this at some point in time, and she's uh, 28 years old Mm -hmm. and getting married in a couple of months. Um, When Marissa was about a month old, I bought a life insurance policy on her. For 28 years, I have been writing a check every single month. Guess what? There's a nice, tidy little sum of money there. Now, if she's dumb, which I hope she isn't, she will cash it out and do something fun. Mm -hmm. If she's smart, she'll borrow against it and put it as a down payment on her house. Marissa, I hope you do that. Or she can just leave it alone and keep paying on it. Or maybe out of the goodness of my heart, I'll keep paying on it. But I've got a pot of gold sitting there waiting for her that she didn't know about until you got me to start talking about it. Got you thinking about it. I was keeping that secret from her for the last 28 years. Well, Marissa, you have something that your dad has for you that you did not know. That's fantastic. And I think I was smart to do it. Mm -hmm. Now the point is, is can I get my clients to do it? Yes. I, when my clients come in, I say, hey, give me a hundred bucks a month for your kid. Give me $75 a month for your kid. Mm -hmm. They're going to be happy that they listen to me even though they think I'm nuts. So you're already actually starting, we were talking about millennials before, but you're actually... What do we call the babies? Yeah, I, I don't even know what they would be. But you're actually already working with them, they just don't even know it yet. Right. You're already helping another generation retire. You know what grandma and grandpa can do for their grandchildren? Hmm. Start putting money away. Great gift. Even if it's $25 a month, keep putting the money away. Doing something. We've got to do something to combat this poverty in retirement. And that's what it is. It's bold to say that, but it's poverty in retirement. We don't want that. And especially since we, you know, we were talking the other night that it's very possible that people are going to be living to 100 years old. Mm-hmm. We haven't, how do you possibly fund that? You know, it, what's amazing too when you uh, mention that is that not only are people living longer, they're living better longer. Sure they are and they're spending more money, yep. and they're having more fun. God love them, let them have a great time. But the people that are working at 75 and 80 years old, I hope that they can do it because they want to work, not because they need to work. That is a perfect segue. So after the break, we've got more with Larry, and we're gonna talk about life insurance, something that's near and dear to your heart, if I'm not mistaken. Absolutely, I can talk about that one forever. Awesome, so that's coming up on Right on the Money. 